Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Quinn92, and you're watching Live 95.5 in the Bloodworks Live Studio. Hey, thanks for being here with us today, dude. (laughs) I appreciate it. Yeah, it's cool to be back in Portland. Yeah, Dude, I was so stoked that you were going to be here today because, one, you're amazing and you're very very talented. Thank you very much. Two, you're from Michigan, and that's where I'm from, too. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. We actually, like, grew up. Because you're, you're from St. Clair Shores, from right? From St. Clair Shores. So we grew up and you're like from five Gross minutes Point. away. Yeah. Yeah. It's such a small world. How come we never like ran into each other, I dude? Know. I don't know. <laughs> and you went to Michigan State? Went to Michigan State, yep, yeah. Wayne State. Yeah. Nice, nice, All right, nice, cool. Nice. Enough about us. No one gets what uh, we're talking about Yeah, right they're now. like, what are they talking <laughs> about? Um, congrats on all of your success so far, man. Seriously. Thank you very much. Um, you're you're going to be in Eugene tomorrow night. Yep. Yep. Anybody going to the show tomorrow? Eugene? Hey! Yeah, sweet. We got nice. some people on. You'll see them tomorrow. Amazing. Um, congrats on your debut album. Thank you very much. Yes, The Story of Us. Thank you. So let's talk about that. What was the inspiration? Yeah, How was so the process? It was, um, it's kind of like a two-part meaning, like the title, like The Story of Us. So I wanted to make something that was kind of like a celebration of like you guys actually like being a fan base and us kind of having this community and like saying like, we like did it. Like we put out an album on like a major label with like a big platform and it was like, I don't know, just like kind of, kind of a really cool moment. And then on the flip note, though, like I wanted to talk about relationships and experiences that I've had. So sure. um, I wanted to make this as like relatable as an album as it could be with with my fans and just people in general, just like whatever experiences they've gone through. Like I wanted to shed light on all those as much as I could. Yeah. With, within like 15 tracks, I think it is now. And then it allows them to connect with you. And exactly. You can connect yeah, with them yeah. Without really having to say much. Yeah. Yeah. Know? And I, I just want to kind of get across to, to people that like, you know, and I said this before earlier, but just like that, what I'm doing is not like this, like unattainable goal. Like I'm, I'm a pretty normal dude. Like I yeah. just happen to like pursue a hobby and like turned into to a career. So yeah. Yeah. And I just think that's advice for anybody, you know, general, if you're like yeah. pursuing something you that you actually do, truly enjoy. You could do anything you want. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and it, and it's so cliche and like, but it really does like, it, it, it's true. So. It can happen. Yeah. Um, so being from Michigan and Detroit, I have to ask you, who are some of your musical influences? And it doesn't um, have to be anyone from Detroit. Yeah. It can be anybody. <laughs> well, not even like, I wouldn't say, I don't think any of these guys are from Detroit, but right. just the whole Motown movement was really big when I was growing up. Not when I was growing up, it would have been like six <laughs> years old right now, but uh, <laughs> my parents was, it was big with them. And so they played it around the house. And so when I was younger, I, I was just always around, um, you know, my living room and stuff being played and at parties, I would just, you know, sneak downstairs and watch them, you know, dance and stuff. And, and, and I was, I was always around it growing up. So I was like, what is this? This sounds really cool. But I've, I had no idea what music was in general. Right. So I grew up on that stuff and was still, and I'm still a fan of it to this day, but then, um, so, I mean, I'm getting a little off track, but to answer your <laughs> question, fine. Michael Jackson, Jackson 5, The Temptations, um, even going back to, like, Sam Cooke and, like, all these just really soulful acts. Like, that's, like, stuff I really, like, those are, like, my roots of, like, artists I love. Yeah. And then, um, you know, moving forward, there's guys like John Bellion, who I love these today. I was, and, dude, like, I was yeah. just going to say, you have yeah. a very similar sound to John, yeah. which is yeah. such a compliment because he Thank is you. so great. You and know, he's amazing. Yeah. Thank you very much. And even, like, Jack Johnson going back a little to the early 2000s and, like, uh, years and years who's abandoned in the UK uh-huh. it's kind of all over the board yeah um, but that's cool though I think it speaks for our music it's sort of like this like mix of a lot of different genres and inspirations for sure yeah. so you're on tour right now yes do you have a favorite city that you've uh, that you toured in I wish I would say I wish I would say Portland but we're not playing in Portland unfortunately but right. uh, I I don't know honestly it sounds again back to that word cliche but yeah Every every show we do is so cool and positive and like it doesn't really matter what city we're in it's just the fans are amazing and yeah like especially with all this like stuff being sold out, you always are like confident knowing you're going into a really like, warm, like inviting environment. And so sure. that makes me like less nervous and like takes the pressures off my shoulders. So no, it's been great. Every city we've been to has been, has been amazing. Yeah. So I have to ask you, cause I was looking at your Twitter when you were in Indiana, <laughs> you farted on yeah, stage, far, dude. Farted on stage, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that a nervous habit or yeah. did it just happen? No, that just happened. I, dude. I, yeah. I, I mean, I heard it was unhealthy to let, to let them in dude, or no. hold them in. So I was yeah, like, you can't do that. But I feel like I was like crop dusting the whole front row. So I was like, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Blood, Bloodworks Live Studio. You yeah. smell something, man. Yeah. No, 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 it's, no, no, it's no. Probably not today. Me. Not today. Not today. I was just, I can't believe we're talking oh, about this. But yeah. Um, I'm just busting you. I'm dude. a pretty cleanly person, but yeah, that yeah. Just, that was a bad day. Hey, for you're me. on the road, man. Yeah. yeah you gotta, exactly. you gotta let it go. <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh. All right. So uh, what's next for you, dude? Where, where um, can we find you? Uh, I mean, you can find me tomorrow night. You guys are going to the Eugene concert. Yes. And then, yeah, we have like 12 more shows left of tour. And then bunch of festivals this summer um some that are really exciting that i just don't want to say yet they'll be announced okay. soon and then album two is coming by the end of the year so yeah just Dope, a dude. lot of stuff yeah a lot of content on on the way and, and features too that i'm on with other artists so 
just like really cool stuff, yeah. All right, stuff that we will definitely be on the lookout for. Yes, please. All right, Bloodworks Live Studio. You want some more music from Quinn 92? Let's do it! Thank you, guys.